this is the solenoid, I just loosened it. I've had to force it with a pair of multi grips. I'm sorry to get it coming off, so hopefully this is where the problem is. A bit of kelp, water, that's how it looks inside. That's how this part looks. Bit of clean. Imagine that's how it's meant to look, really. A few coffee grinds in there or something. Is that what the solenoid seals? But I'm guessing there must be some plunger inside. So, oh, there's the spring. Oh, look how much coffee is on that. Quite a bit of coffee. And I guess that would come from the cleaning and the back flushing. Right. And that's the plunger. Will the plunger come out? Oh yeah. Looks like it might come out. So this is the two-way solenoid I'm playing with here. Oop, there we go, there's the plunger. It's the nut coming out. There it is. Hopefully, this grind is not a problem. Because it would be easy if all I had to do was clean this. Can't see inside there for you. Yeah. There's quite a few coffee grinds in there. I imagine it might just be the spring. I mean, that can't be good, right? Oh well. We'll clean and reassemble. So the problem I've got on this coffee machine is uh, I'm not getting pressure on a Breville BES 860, which is very similar to the BES 860XL. And I'm certainly not a coffee mechanic, I'm just a bloke trying to fix his coffee machine for fun. But uh, hopefully, and this has done it because I've Pulled apart the three-way solenoid and cleaned the hell out of that. I didn't find that to be nearly as dirty. That's the larger three-way solenoid there. And in fact, you can take this whole assembly apart. Uh, it's interesting to, to clean this bugger. spring okay so it's 
I'm gonna go back in here, but I wonder if I should pop this seal and then potentially I can uh, flush this out entirely. Yeah, that is not coming out. Don't like the idea of that. Since I don't have a replacement one, I'm going to leave it. I don't want to break it. Okay, we've cleaned um, all these parts now. So just put flush some water down there, and obviously wipe wipe that clean. And the spring just. Uh, mm, I thought I had cleaned it. A little bit of grime left in there. I think the spring is the one thing that is quite dirty. I think the solenoid is actually quite sensitive. That's me just blowing the crap out of the spring. <laughs> a can of compressed air probably wouldn't go astray. Hmm. And just rinse that underwater too. Oh. Right, bring this baby back together now. So uh, that part goes on last, obviously. Um, my clean spring uh, back inside my plunger. Mm. Removing, just pulling it out, checking if I'm getting anything else. It's hard to tell whether the plunger's clean because you can't really see right inside it. Anyway, the, the seal there looks pretty worn to me, but hopefully that's still working. So uh, the spring goes in there, seal goes on the downside here, yep. and it uh, doesn't really matter which way it goes in I guess. And the plunger probably spins around, I don't think that gap there really matters. Uh, I'll face it along the water line anyway. Right. Now I'm just gonna screw this baby back on. Maybe there's a better tool to do this. Or like, you know, a couple of springs and a lock ring, but this is the way I've done it. I imagine the solenoid coil doesn't really like it afterwards. But well, hopefully it's not too much damage. Oop. There we go. Okay, time to put this baby back in. Okay, skip ahead a little. I just uh I mended this to have a, uh, the plastic screw nuts there and the black one there and the, the metal one on this end. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. That, that seemed more logical. And I forget the way it was originally. But I mean, if you have it and know which way to do it, then do that. That one there on this side indicates the same side as this. I had put that in the wrong way and didn't work. So, and obviously, that goes against there. So, screw this back on now. Then it can go in the shell. <laughs> 